Namaste. I'm Priyash Kataria and I'm on the 200 hour Kundalini Yoga teacher training from the World Peace Yoga School Rishikesh and this is part of my 200 hour Kundalini Yoga teacher assignment and today I'll be explaining one asana uh, asana which is a favorite of many uh, students of yoga especially at the end of the sessions when they had a rigorous yoga session and they just need to relax and so it's a relaxation asana named the shavasana or the corpse pose and it's a favorite asana of many people as they can really relax at the end of the yoga session and really allow their body to rest really allow the mind to rest and go on a deeper meditative journey inside oneself a deep restorative healing journey allowing the body to heal the mind to heal the energy body to heal and experience a state of bliss within oneself and so it's a very simple pose it can be done by a child or an elderly adult so this pose is open for a lot of people it's not about being flexible or be able to bend into a, a difficult position everybody can do it with a few simple instructions however it's also a very difficult pose because to really allow yourself to relax to really allow yourself to let go to really allow yourself to release them tensions in the body mind and energy is actually a quite difficult thing to do because we're always grasping holding on to tensions in the body holding on to our thoughts holding on to certain emotions and to really be in the corpse pose and just allow them tensions to dissolve in the body just to allow thoughts to come and go without grasping and holding on to them thoughts identifying with them thoughts and really allowing emotions to come and go without grasping onto them without being caught up and reacting into our thoughts and emotions this is actually a difficult thing to do and so the pose may seem easy but what's internally happening with them is a difficult journey within ourselves an inward journey within ourselves and so this actual relaxation pose the corpse pose allows us to deeper relax and deeper bring our energies within withdraw our energies within cutting them from the external senses and allowing our attention to dive deep into the deeper layers of oneself relaxing the physical body relaxing the energy body relaxing the mental body the wisdom body and returning to that bliss body feeling the deeper sense of bliss of existence itself within ourselves and so all this can be achieved through this one posture a simple posture which seems simple but has so much depth inwards so please follow my instructions and i'll also be explaining some alignments and some benefits of this asana as we go ahead so now just lying down on your mat just lying down on your mat and keeping your feet uh, shoulder width apart your feet up and lying back down onto the mat keeping the head straight not allowing the head to go too much to the left or right just keeping the head straight looking up gazing up at the ceiling and then just allowing your hands to drop maybe 15 to 20 centimeters from the side of your hip and allowing the palms to be upwards the fingers slightly curled feeling the palms upwards and in an open receptive state sensing the energy through the palms and then just closing your eyes and then just bringing your attention to the breath 
aware of the incoming and outgoing breath as you breathe in feeling the breath coming in through the nostrils moving through the down the windpipe inflating the lungs moving the diaphragm the abdomen as you breathe in and as you exhale feeling the abdomen move the diaphragm the lungs and feeling the air coming back out the nostrils as you exhale just watching the natural breath the breath coming in through the nostrils flowing into the lungs moving the diaphragm and abdomen and as you exhale following the sensation of the breath up through the body back out the nostrils And so being in this corpse pose, we can really allow our attention to go deeper, first concentrating on the breath. And bringing us into a meditative state with him. And then we can be aware, we can be aware of our entire body. This pose also allows a deep introspection to really become aware of our body and the sensations in our body. And we can scan our attention through the body in this pose and just being aware of any tension we feel in our body. So just bringing your attention to the top of the head, to the very crown point, and just scanning your attention down, down the head, down the forehead, down the sides of the head, the back of the head, down the nose, the eyes, the cheeks, the jaws, the bones, the chin, just noticing any tension in the entire face, in the entire head area, and just feeling that tension dissolve down into the ground, down into the earth, and slowly allowing your tension to move down down the neck area, relaxing the neck, neck muscles, releasing any tension into the ground, moving your tension down the left shoulder, down the left arm, down to the left fingertips, and just feeling any tension, feeling any energy blockages, any tension in the muscles, just being released down into the earth, and just feeling as though you're left arm, left entire left arm is becoming heavy and feeling as though sinking down into the ground beneath you. Then bringing your attention to the right shoulder, releasing any tension in the right shoulder, moving your tension down the right arm, down to the right fingertips, releasing any tension in the right arm. Feeling any tension dissolving into the earth, feeling the right arm sinking into the earth, feeling the, as though the body becoming heavy, feeling as though the body is sinking down into the earth, releasing any tension into the earth. Then moving your attention from the upper back, releasing any tension in the back muscles, moving your attention down the spine and down to the lower back, Releasing any tension in the lower back, down into the earth, feeling the touch of the back with the ground beneath you. Moving your attention to the hips, the back of the hip, the buttocks muscles, and right to the pelvic area, the front pelvic area. Moving your attention down the right leg, down to the tips of the toes of the right leg. Moving your attention down the left leg, to the tips of the toes of the left leg. And just feeling your energy move down, down through the legs, down into the feet. And from the feet, feeling that energy go down into the earth. 
and just feeling any excess energy discharging into the earth from the feet feeling any tension you may be holding in the body discharging into the earth from the feet and just being aware of the entire body now and feeling your entire body completely relaxed releasing any tension still you may be holding in the body releasing down into the earth and feeling the energy of the earth connecting with the energy of the earth allowing the body to deeply relax the body coming into a state of deep relaxation and the body connecting back with the energies of the earth the natural healing energies of the earth and feeling the energies of the earth rising upwards up through the ground into the body balancing and harmonizing the energies of your physical body balancing and harmonizing your prana body and just feeling as though your corpse feeling the actual physical body motionless feeling the physical body as a heavy matter and feeling as though the body is sinking down into the earth the earth element in the body in the physical body one and the same with the earth element of mother earth connecting with the earth element within oneself balancing the earth energies within oneself and deeply relaxing And so this is a very powerful asana that can really allow our bodies to relax deeper and deeper. And usually we're very busy in doing mode. We spend our entire lives in doing mode. And even in our yoga classes, we're always in a state of doing, 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 doing different asanas. And sometimes competing or trying to look the best but just being in this pose we're just with ourselves, not looking at anybody else not trying to prove ourselves in any way but just allowing our attention to move deeper within ourselves and just allow the body to come in a deep relaxed state or open and receptive state and as our body is deeply relaxed we can do many other practices using this asana today we just went with the physical body and relaxed the physical body however with this asana with the shavasana co um, corpse pose we can go deeper into yoga nidra meditation or after relaxing our physical body we can connect with the breath energy connect with our pranamaya kosha and we can also bring our attention to different energy chakras energy centers within our body and also this is a great um, asana to really connect with our spiritual energies connecting with the third eye chakra and being able to look deeper within our wisdom body and really to discern the truth of who we are within ourselves and so I hope you enjoyed this session it's just a small introduction of the corpse pose uh, which is possible for children to elderly adults people can uh, do this pose safely um, and key points just to keep your feet shoulder width apart 
keep your palms facing upwards and just allowing the body to deeply relax and feeling as though the body is becoming heavy connecting down with the earth energies and just allowing that tension from the body to dissolve down into the earth um, so a very popular asana at the end of yoga sessions and a yoga posture which will allow us to go into the really deeper aspects of yoga the deeper aspects and uh, take a deeper journey into into our true nature so i hope you enjoyed namaste